to FM24. It's me, Matty G. We're back to the top, and we're here at Hartford. And uh, <laughs> things have got better, gone from great to better, and 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 yeah, started to worry. <laughs> uh, goals kept on coming uh, throughout the last couple of games, and um, then all of a sudden they just dried up. Uh, Tame United held us to a nil-nil draw, and since then. The team have been getting nervous and nervous. 1-1 uh, draw against Bedford Town. And uh, now it's where? It's back to the old boys. It's where? We're going to play a double header this one. We're going to play where and Wolf and Abbey. Um, but today it's where. And it's it's not looking too gro groovy. Should we say groovy? Uh, it's not looking too groovy on the table front. Where are nipping our heels? A win here would put them a point right behind us. Um, I mean, everything's still in our hands. But as you can see, Tommy hasn't scored since the last game. Last last time we saw us, really. Um, yeah, he's on 39 goals still for the season. Can't quite break that 40. I think we're on around about 99 goals for the season. Um, so we need about 10 more goals throughout the remaining five games in order to beat Peterborough Sports' um, record of most goals scored in this division. That's an A aim. The main aim is to win the title, obviously. Can we do it? It's difficult to say, really. Uh, Wolf and Abbey are lingering around those playoff areas so they're going to be wanting to play pretty darn well when we play them where's obviously fighting for the top two of the hardest games out of the lot um, if i go back to schedule we'll see that the other game we're going to play is stopfold who are in a dire straits at the bottom of at the bottom of the table there they're in, they're in a full-blown relegation battle they can still escape but they would need win after win after win so they could be a difficult prospect as well uh, and we've been sat at the top pretty much the whole year round. This one's a very important one. So with that, we do have a team meeting to, to get into. First off, we're going to have a quick look at the uh, at the team because there are some tweaks and changes. You'll notice all the star abilities have dropped down. That's mostly because of this young lad we've signed, Romelo Mitchell. Um, he's a star player. I mean, look, he's just absolutely fantastic. On the acceleration, everything pretty much. He's finishing. He's a winger that can play on both sides uh, and he can play up the front. That being said, the only reason we signed someone, uh, mostly because I thought maybe we could play him in the middle, but he, he obviously it's going to have to be trained first. And that's because we lost our previous star man, Jack Gee, is out injured. Pretty much for the next, probably uh, rest of the season. He's out for. Six days to three weeks from here. Um, it's not the greatest thing to have. Twisted knee. He's, already, he's got two weeks out to go. Two weeks out to go. So he, you know, he's making some progress there. Expected return. Nine days to three weeks. Time out so far. Two weeks. There we go. There we go. There's your, there's your info for a twisted ankle. For a twisted ankle. But let me just say one thing. I broke my ankle at work. And I continued work for the rest of the shift. Then walked home. Argued with the wife about going to work the next day. Got ready for work the next day. Before being forced to go down to the doctors. Because I was assuming it was just a bad twist. I'll be fine. And it turns out I'd broken my ankle. So this guy needs to rub some dirt on the wound and crack on. All being said, it's team talk time, and um, this hasn't gone well for us recently. So I'm going to ex ease expectations, and I'm just going to accept. The reason being is I've tried being positive. They love me being positive, but it never seems to work, and all I seem to do is get draws. I've had it twice before, so we're not going to we're going to ease ease expectations before this one gets uh, a bit messy. Okay, so there's a little worry with this setup. We do have a slight gap here. Um, I am thinking about changing Chihuahua's positioning, but he did so well when he played this role last time. Uh, it is a tough one to call. We're also going for a really risky move, and we're playing Romelo Mitchell in his 
debut. His debut against where? We are at home. We expected a bumper crowd. I think that could be a good one for us. Um, and we, we've moved uh, Bella Hassett, Mr. Hoff, we've moved his position to his favourite role as a advanced forward on attack. I'm hoping these little tiny tweaks might just give us what we need. Um, only time's going to tell. And dropping Jeremiah to the bench is also risky. Um, on recent form, he's played slightly better than Osborne. But we've got to do something. <laughs> we need a win here. And we need a win pretty bad. We're going on attack from the get-go. I'm going with the fans. Expect a win. Don't let them down. Didn't really have the effect I wanted it to. So we're going to point the finger. I need a strong defence. Midfield. Uh, hands together. I have faith in you. That seems to have turned Che around. Attackers. Pump the fists. I expect to see quality finishing. Because I need it. <laughs> I need it. I need clinical finishing, boys and girls. Clinical. So we're on a really good run. Three wins, two draws. It's not bad. We are top of the table. Let's have a look at Ware's recent form. Two losses, three wins on the bounce. So maybe they're in the ascendancy. However, on form over five games, we've got the better form. It is close at the top. It is close at the top. That is all I'm saying on that front. Nerves are with me. Uh, so, yeah, we are on key highlights. Perfect. Everything's fine. As O'Keefe and Garzon start this one off. Chow forward to Osborne. Knocks it through. There's Hutchinson. He's breaking through. He takes a crack. Bridge gets a hand to it. That'll be a corner kick. Do we get the highlight from it? We do. We know this is going far, Pove. The Hoft is lingering. O'Keefe with the ball over. Osamir is there. Ball goes out for a throw of all things. Oh, Dearman with them. The now that wears on the attack with a headed opportunity. Thompson's able to clear it, click, collect it. Goes out to Soto, who's going to look to cross that ball in. Hutchison intercepts. Break away. Play the ball. Play the ball. Hoff's there. He's looking up. He's got to find a man. He's not. He's just going to run through everyone. Go on, Hoff. All the way, son. Yes! This is 40th goal of the season. He hasn't scored in about four games. He's back. The Hoff is back. He loves to see you on YouTube. The Hoff is here to stay. Every time we sign someone that could possibly be replacing him, he just carries on scoring. 40 goals. How am I going to let this kid go next season? He's obviously not going to be as good as signings we can make if we go up. But how do you get rid of a kid that scores 40 goals in a season? Unprecedented. Everything's gone a little quiet, a little shaky. It's only the one goal. And now they're on the attack, or the offensive. It's David Sotter with a long ball over. Right, he's there. O'Keefe gets his head on the ball. Off wasn't able to collect it. They've made a break away. Davis has got the goal. It's only, his, it's only his third of the season. Son of a gun. Honestly thought we had saved ourselves then, but the Hoff weren't able to get there and Thomas finds that little gap. Take Davis and it's 1-1. I'm, I'm going to go bravery here. I'm going to go berate the players. I'm going to berate them and hopefully that spurs them on to do something a little different. Long ball over the top from the goalkeeper towards Davies. Ehrman now picks it up. This is not good. They've got a full highlight. Davis breaks through. There's a gap. No one's picked it up. Turles there. Has a shot. Off the end post. Williams to clear, Mitchell, Garzon, can we make a breakaway? Yes, we could. Garzon's running through, there's the Hoff. Hutchinson, let me move that mouse out of the way, my friends. Hutchinson, is he going to lose out to Thomas? He manages to kick the ball again. Looking down the wing for the cross, dinks it in. Mitchell's there, but he's not going to get his head to it. And it's cleared. It's out for a throw, probably won't see that highlight. Romeo Mitchell, uh, he's not the best of start so far, but... It's not awful either. We're going to give a bit of shouty shouty. I'm going to fire them up. That's probably going to backfire. It is. They're unhappy. Oh dear. Play for the set pieces. You're unhappy, but prove me wrong. It's half time. See, we've got the better of the XG, but we're still being pulled back. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to... Can I do it with my hands in my pockets? I don't like what I see. Everyone seems not motivated except for O'Keefe. 
individuals. So, Keith. Keep going. There we go. Perfect. Everyone seems happy for this one. Let's go straight into the second half. Hopefully, people improve. I'm looking at you, Mitchell. You're starting to drop. Let me give you a bit of touchline shouts. We're going to berate you. It's your debut. It's a big game. Time for you to actually do something. Uh, as O'Keefe is on the ball, plays it back towards Rogerson. He's going to play a long ball out over the top. Or is he just going to, he's going to knock it out to Chihuahua. I love Chihuahua. Williams is running down on the wing there. Plays it forward to Osborne. He's getting boos. Osborne why? Williams with a long, long kick in. There's the hoof. He's hit the second. The refs. No, no. The linesman's an absolute bell end. And he's out. Give over. How? Prove it. Prove it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. The beautiful finish, and they've just wiped it off the chalkboard. Williams with a good interception, but it doesn't go far as Dolson picks up that ball. Runs down on the left hand wing, plays it forward to Deadman, brings it back into Dolson. Someone tackle that boy. He's going to shoot. Was that off the post or was that a save? A crossbar, even. This is stressful. Corner O'Keefe. It's going to go swing to the far post. The Hoff's there. I think the ref's given a penalty. Ref has given a penalty. Hutchison's over the ball. He takes it quickly. It's in the corner. It's 2 1. I'm going to keep it as attacking. I was going to drop down. But what, I, um, what I was going to do is just tell him to focus up here and jump into the sub bench. I'm going to take Romario Mitchell off. Jeremiah's coming on. I am worried about Williams. The only one that can play on the right track. Uh, really? It's right centered. We haven't the right hand side. I could play Dutton out of position. But it does worry me that he's on a yellow. With only 20 minutes to go. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put Williams in there. Yeah, I mean he's gonna play pretty Dutton's gonna play terrible right now, but I've gotta just do something. I'm worried I'm gonna get a yellow card. Get someone sent off and then concede and we'll have another draw or loss on our hands. And we need this win. As Garzon has the ball in the centre. Plays it over to Usman. Look to do something with it. Don't just stand there. Brings it back to O'Keefe. It's a little one-two. It's time. Garzon now with the ball. Look for the through ball. Look for the through ball. He's not. He's just going to run it. Go on then. Run it down the wing. He's cutting in field. He's going all the way. Jeremiah's there. Plays it back. Awesome. Nice long shot. Woo! You heard that one. Ricochet off the crossbar. An inch or two lower and we would be looking at a 3-1 lead. It's Hutchison over the corner. He's looking for that far post. O'Keefe and Osserman's there. Ball comes out. Jeremiah picks it up. Swing it back in. Does so. There's the Hoff. There we go. 41 goals of the season. His second of the match. 3-1 lead. I can breathe a sigh of relief. It was a it was a well worked well worked routine there. And it's always the Hoff. He's always there in the right space. Just goes to show you you don't need the best striker to score all the goals. It's a tight offside. But it counts, it's not offside then, is it? So it's not that offside. Go do one, Lino. Jeremiah picks it up at the far side. Looking to play forward. Long hoofing ball down towards Garzan. He controls it well. Brings it infield. He looks up. He finds Osborne on the far side. Sweeps it in. And the Hoff has missed. The Hoff doesn't miss from there. What is going on? Hutchinson for Watkins is... You know, that is suggested. We're just going to do that. I'm not going to knacker too many people out. As Ware now breaks through with Davis. Looking to on the overlap. Wright's there. Can anyone get there and block across? No. Ball comes in. Well, it went straight across the face of goal. And Dearman's kept it in. Swings it back in field. Sota's there. Dawson. Oh. Instructions. Okay. Passing super direct. Tempo, we're going to slam that up high. Time wasting, yes, please. We'll have loads of that. We're going to dribble less. 
be more discipline work it into the box I'm going to overlap on the left and right so we can play it into space in transition I want to regroup hold shape slow down the pace distribute over the defense nice contradiction but hopefully that will that will work we have four minutes to hold on and it is a worry now just hold on no don't do this fm ball comes in o'keefe with the header clear garzan picks it up turn around hoof the ball you got players running in the middle look up garzan shoots from distance it's a goal where was the goalkeeper was the goalkeeper not even in the goal there's a goalkeeper there what what's going on the goalkeeper went up for the corner and didn't really run back. Garzan should have just shot from the first time. I don't care. It took so long. That was a beautiful little goal. And that's that's done it for us. We've won. They can attack all they like. We've done it. We've done it. That could be a title decider right there. That really could be. I mean, obviously, all the yellow cards on their side, they really were going for us today. But they weren't able to stop us, which was fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, outstretch arms, absolutely happy beyond belief that that was a fantastic win, boys. Drinks are on me. That's what I'll be saying to these players. Seven points clear with four games to go. The title is in our grasps. It is so in our grasps. Everyone at the top there is on 32 or more games played. We've not even really got to worry about Thame United catching us. We are, uh, what are we, 12 points clear of Thame United. So even if we lost every one of our games remaining and they won their last three, they can't beat us. The title could be clinched soon. I'm not even going to try the mathematics of it. But it can't be long. There's only 30. Is it 36 games? Two 18s? Yeah, 36 games. Breathe. Breathe. Because we're coming back for Walton Abbey. Well, it's confirmed. No matter what is happening, Hartford Town are guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. And that's fantastic. And a very little read here. Hartford Town are currently on a 15-match unbeaten league run. That's the highest in history, by the way. Find themselves in first place in the Southern League Division 1 Central. They've won four of the last five games. I didn't realise that we have won so many. Hartford Town already guaranteed the highest ever league finish, with the previous record being third in the Ishman Division 1. Hartford Town's impressive end to the season could see them make a surprise push for promotion as they sit first in the table with the finish line in sight. You damn right we're going to do that. It's that time. It's Walton Abbey time. We drew 3-3 three, three of them last time round. This time's a much more important game. Um, a win here and the right results elsewhere means we clinch the title at home at Hartingford Berry Park. Whew. Breathe. And even better news. Jack Gee is back from injury. He makes the bench not fully fit. Hopefully can play a part in this one. <sighs> Deep breaths. Breathe. This is not going to be easy. It's our 16 game unbeaten streak versus Walton Abbey's 10 game unbeaten streak. Let's hope we can pull it off. Right. I'm going to go something really out of the box. This normally doesn't work. But considering the importance of the game, and it's the last one on today's show, or today's episode, uh, we've got to go for it. So, yeah, I'm going to thrash the arms. I need strong defence. Point the fingers. I need faith in the midfield. Attackers. Pump the fists again. I expect quality finishing. Everyone seems motivated by three, who are composed at least. Deep breaths. Here we go. Let's just make sure we're on 
key highlights, timing, everything beautiful. We have a corner. O'Keefe over the ball. It's going to go far post. We all know this. It is going far post. The Hoffs there doesn't get it. Osme does. Yes! One foot. One foot. One foot. One foot. That's all it took. Nice hit. Top corner. It's an eight minute lead. O'Keefe. The Hoff couldn't get it. The ball came out. Osme was able to collect it. And he just dinked it outside of his foot. Just a little curl of his left foot there. Beautiful. 1-0. Things are looking good. And, and I was going to pause it to see if I could see some of the other results. But here we go as McCone is now on the ball. Plays it into Tisha. Osborne's made to pick his pocket. The Hoff knocks it over the top. Hutchinson's through. No one's with him. Put it in the net. Put it in the net. Oh. I think that was a keeper save. We have a corner from it. It's going to go far post. Mitchell's over the ball. Swings it towards a far post. The ball goes out for another corner. O'Keefe. Looks like he's going to go and take it. He is. Again, we're going far post here. Next season, we will be doing multiple positionings on that. The ball comes straight out. That's another corner. Ooh. This is a long old highlight now. Third corner on the bounce. Hit Mitch. Why is it short? That is different. Hutchinson brings it in. Loses out. Garson tries to head it back. And that's the end of the highlight. I'm not set up for short corners. So that was very unusual. As O'Keefe gets a free kick. Wings it in towards Hutchinson. Chow gets there. Hutchinson picks it up at the far side. Brings it in near post. And comb to get it away to Whelan. And now we could be on... For a counter offensive as Essel comes forward, Rogers long ball over the top towards Aldor Hamilton. Schmier gets there, Barker picks up the ball, swings it back in, keeper comes out, Rogerson with a good hand. All right, let's just 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 breathe. As soon as this highlight ends, I can pause and check the results. This highlight's not going to end, is it? Osimir knocks it in, Chow loses out, Whelan, Essel, poor ball that was and eventually, Garson picks it up. There's the Hoff. Knocks it over the top towards Mitchell. He's breaking down on that left-hand side. Swings it in. Hutchinson, what are you doing? It's easier to score from there. Right, on the visualizer, I would like to see the latest scores. Uh, Tames losing. Fantastic. Where's drawing? Even better. If we're can lose if Barton Rovers can do us a favour and beat them Biggleswade Town are drawing and we win this I think that claims the title for us We're 20 minutes in I'm getting ahead of myself I am getting ahead of myself um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shout a bit of oh, I'm going to demand more I'm going to demand more I'm also going to change the instructions to be really direct We'll go for that. 26 minutes in. 27 minutes in. They've got a highlight. Tamio Rogers. Keeper. Rogerson just keeping that 1-0 lead for us. They have a corner. Barker's going to outswing this one. It's near post. Good headed clearance. I believe that might have been Mitchell. Rogers keeps it in though. And they come again with McCone. End of the highlight. Fantastic. Playing well at the moment with O'Keefe on the ball. Plays it back to Rogerson. Keeper's going to play it forward. Chihuahua looking for a ball forward. Does find it. Chael. Nice ball into Garzon. Turns round. There's the Hoff. Through on goal. If there was anyone to score a goal that gives us a two goal advantage that could clinch the title, it has to be the Hoff. 42nd goal of the season. This man is a non-league legend in my opinion and should go down in, I think Hartford Town, the football club itself, should see this on YouTube. Find this player in life and just sign him. <laughs> just sign him, just for the hell of it. He's a legend in everyone's eyes. It was never a tight offside. It was a good finish. We're 2-0 to the good. Che Hutchison having slight struggles out there. 
This guy's a really good defender, by the way, the Tamiano. I've been trying to side him all year. He just won't leave. Get rid of that pass, Matt. That's not how you get rid of it. Go away, pass, Matt. Can I just click tactics and get rid of it that way? Yes. That's good. I don't know how I got it up there in the first place. Osborne now breaks down on the right-hand side, looking to pass the defender. Gets an early ball cross in, and there's the Hoff again! 43rd goal of the season. This man is a god. Beautiful ball forward there to Osborne. Looks to try and beat the defender. He doesn't quite do it. And at the last minute, gets a low drill and cross in. And all the Hoff has to do is turn it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. T -t 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 tap it in. Again with the tight offside. It was not tight. Go home, lines when you're not needed. We'll approach the end of the first half with 3-0 to the good. Although we do have one final highlight as the ball gets whipped out. The Hoff able to put it back into their half. They do retain possession. Only until Mitchell dispossesses them. Forwards to Hutchinson. Look up Hutchinson. He finds the Hoff. The Hoff finds the goal. The line stays down. He's got a hat trick. We're 4-0 up. Oh, title's got to be coming home. It's got to be coming home. Mitchell, beautiful interception there. Plays it into Hutchison. He's been pretty poor most of the game. And he finds the perfect ball into the half. And Blenner has it. Gets his, what is it, is his 44th? I think it's his 44th goal of the season. That's half time. That was pretty darn sweet. I'm just going to say I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm not, I'm not going to push him. There's no need to push them. They're, they're, they're performing brilliantly. Absolutely love it. We're going to start the second half. Hopefully everything's going to be fine. We are going to pause it just to check on the results elsewhere. Tame are losing. Where are still drawing. Thank you, Barton Rovers. And Biggles Way Town. I believe Biggles Way Town are the ones that are close to us. They're winning, which isn't great for us. I wonder if we can see the table. Can we see the table? League table. As long as we're draw and no more, we will have five, six, seven point lead. With two games to go, that will be enough to clinch the title today, I believe. Come on, people. We can do this. Got to keep an eye on the fitness, though. We don't want any of the fitness levels to drop too low. Rhea Mitchell is actually starting to drop, and so are some of the defenders. We have a we have a highlight. Jorgensen knocks it all the way out park, and uh, it looks like North and Abbey are going to try and get something out of this game. As Whelan, beautiful looping cross, doesn't go too far, and they just gave a corner but didn't get one. I'm not sure what happened now. Sixty fifth, sixty seventh. Oh no, here we go. Only seventieth minute mark. Stop that just there. Romeo's done well. Jeremiah can come on there. Jack Gee can come in for Hutchinson. He's played all right. And I'm going to bring Dutton in for Oshamir. And we're going to confirm those three subs. Those are the three. We're sticking with the rest of the team. I'm going to shout a bit of focus. Just because some of them are getting a bit complacent. Hopefully that will stop any from festering as uh, where are we Wolf and Abbey are now attacking again with Barker on the far right hand side pushing down the wing looking for the cross gets the cross in it's a bit of a mix up and the clean sheet's gone less than 25 minutes left to play I'm going to shouty shouty uh, I'm just going to turn to focus again. They're not going to like it, but they've got to focus. Osborne breaks through. Good save. Should lead to a corner. Does so. Williams, T. Williams, is going to knock it in towards the far post. I can see the Hoff there. Doesn't get to the ball. Goes out for a harmless throw, which ends that highlight. 
can see the defenders are absolutely shattered. And they've got another corner in the 83rd minute. Barker, nice, deep, deep cross there. Rodgson easy able to collect that in the middle of the air. And looks to get that one out. Plays it short to O'Keefe. Turns, looks up, looks up again. Plays it forward to Jeremiah and Dutton. O'Keefe, Garza, O'Keefe, Dutton again. Is into Garza, out to Jeremiah, not... Jeremiah of a poor ball. I uh, tried to get over the top towards the half, but it wasn't accurate at all. But he does get a second chance into Garza. There's Guy, back from his injury. As a crack, it's the post. He deserved better there. Goes out for a Hartford throw, but it does end the highlight. Getting close. It's 90 minutes. It's 91 minutes. It's full time. And we are champions. I actually haven't seen the FM24 champion uh, trophy lift, but we're at home. The crowd are a lot louder than what they appear in the stands. But there we are, Hartford Town, Southern League Division 1 Central champions. Drink it in, man. Number of the crowd stayed there. That's actually more than I think I've seen most season. Hopefully this will boost crowd numbers in future. I mean, Blenner has it. What a man. What a man. We got the result we wanted. Well done, boys. Well done. We are champions. With two games spare. Champions, champions, ole, ole, ole. Hartford Town win Southern League Division 1 Central. Yeah, you heard that right. Hartford Town will certainly look back at some great wins along the way, with perhaps the most notably including a, an impressive 9-3 dismantling of Tame United. That was, I think, I think if I remember rightly, didn't Hassett, uh, Blenner Hassett scored like seven goals in that game. Um, an authentic 6-2 win against Chinchester Town, a comprehensive 6-1 triumph versus Leighton Town, and a comfortable 5-0 humbling of Kempston Rovers. The Hoff led the way to glory in the Southern League Division 1 Central outfit by notching 37 on goals en route. Really? 37? I thought it was a lot more than that. Or was that just league goals, not including other goals? Anyway. There were scenes of jubilant success for the Blues, who came to form at the perfect time late in the season, finding consistent performances to ascend into the top spot and claim the most unlikely of victories. Beautiful. In other news, it looks like Ware has secured a uh, playoff spot. So you never know, they could be joining us next year. Uh, the board has set initial wage budget for the coming season at three grand a week. Double what I've got to spend now. And a transfer budget of 60k. I can see a lot of that money going straight into more wage budget, making it easy to sign more freebies. Lots of work ahead in the new season. And there it is. Hartford Town fans are in jubilant mood after Matty Gibb, Led them to incredible feat of winning the Southern League Division 1 Central. Well, that's all for this one. In the next one, or should I say the next episode, uh, it will be a little bit shorter. Mostly it's going to be the end of season review. And maybe some signings. Um, but it will be very short before we start season 2. Until next time, this has been Matty G and the Hoff. Peace out.